You know, some of the most common things I see people argue about on Twitter or social media are things like when Sonic was good, whether that be when he was using the Spin Dash formula or the Boost formula. But what if I was to tell you there was a game which combined both the Boost and the Spin Dash? That Sonic game is known as Sonic Rush. Hey, what's up everyone, I'm VMeg, and welcome back to another HDSGHUI 2020, or also known as the How Does Sonic Game Hold Up in 2020 series. Today on the channel, we'll be covering one of the more fun and quick-paced Sonic games, Sonic Rush. If this is your first time on the channel, I normally split these kind of videos up into multiple sections, story, controls, gameplay, and soundtrack. So without further ado, let's rush into this video. God kill me. As normally done in any other video, we are going to begin with the story. The story begins with Blaze the Cat, a cat character which is somehow pulled from her native dimension into Sonic's world. Her world had the Seven Soul Emeralds. Similar to the Seven Chaos Emeralds, they were somehow stolen by Dr. Eggman. Sonic briefly encounters Blaze during his search, but she departs before he can question her. His friend Tails learns that two dimensions are merging somehow, and both will collapse if this process is not stopped. Suspicious of Blaze, Sonic and Tails begin searching for her. Upon finding Blaze and Cream, Sonic questions Blaze about her nature, but she refuses to give any information and leaves with Cream. Sonic follows her to Eggman Nega's base, where it is revealed that Eggman and Eggman Nega are working together to collect the Chaos Emeralds and the Soul Emeralds. Blaze declares that she is the only one who could save their world without anyone's help. Sonic and Blaze fight each other until Sonic wins the fight and Blaze realizes the errors of her ways. After Eggman kidnaps Cream, Blaze goes after him while Sonic takes on Eggman Nega. Sonic collects the last of the seven Chaos Emeralds and catches up with Blaze who fails to prevent Eggman and Eggman Nega from draining the Soul Emerald's power for their Egg Salamander. As the world begins to destabilize, Sonic and his friends help Blaze realize the meaning of friendship. This restores the Soul Emeralds, and Sonic and Blaze use both sets of Emeralds to transform into Super Sonic and Burning Blaze. The two destroy the Egg Salamander, restoring their dimensions to normal, and Blaze returns to her world, now with a better understanding of her powers. Cream is saddened by Blaze's departure, but Sonic assures her that Blaze promised to return someday. Which, I guess is true since we see her again in Sonic 06 and Generations... Who knows how Blaze goes from one dimension for a birthday party for things like Sonic's birthday and Generations. Oh well, who knows. <laughs> For the controls of Sonic Rush, we will be discussing the official Nintendo DS controls since I played on real hardware, so let's begin. The controls for movement is just the D-pad. Looking down and pressing A or B will make Sonic perform a spin dash similar to how he did in the classics. A or B can be used for jumping, the button for boosting is Y, and pressing the R button on the Nintendo DS will make Sonic do tricks or dash midair. Start is used for pausing the game, and finally special stages are controlled by using the stylus on the bottom screen to move Sonic left to right. Tapping on the actual screen will allow Sonic to do things like homing attack during the special stage. In Sonic Rush there are 9 zones consisting of Leaf Storm, Water Palace, Mirage Road, Night Carnival, Huge Crisis, Altitude Limit, Deadline, Unknown, and Exception. Most of the zones are split into two acts with a boss act at the end. There is normally a cutscene which will make sense for when Sonic and Tails head to the next zone. During each stage, there are special stage generators in different places. By swinging around on this gimmick with the super boost long enough, the player will enter one of the seven special stages. Each special stage can be only entered via their zone special generator. Special stages in Sonic Rush involve you, the player, running down a 3D half pipe stage, similar to the special stages from Sonic 2. The goal is to collect the correct amount of rings needed before hitting the next checkpoint or the goal in order to get the Chaos Emerald. In gameplay, you, the player, will use the Nintendo DS stylus to control Sonic and move around the half pipe route. Avoid bombs and enemies. Hitting enemies also grants a few rings. Only one emerald is awarded per special stage, so the same stage cannot be repeated for multiple Chaos Emeralds. In my opinion, these are probably my favorite special stages from any Sonic game other than Mania. Sonic is actually a lot of fun to control with the stylus, and this is one of the reasons I love Sonic Rush's special stages so much. 
One main thing Sonic Rush can be known for is the trick system, where basically you press R like I said prior in controls, and you watch Sonic do tricks. When performing tricks, Sonic over time will fill in the boost meter, and this helps out for entering special stages easier. Finally, one last thing is a personal complaint. Altitude Limit is the worst stage in the game. This is just my personal opinion again. I just hate how much they can mess you up because at times you won't know where to jump or they try to be interested by making Sonic use a paraglider. And there's also a bunch of lasers that can kill you or you try to use a parachute. Trust me, if you ever play Sonic Rush, you're gonna hate that stage. I'm just saying. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we have a very special guest coming on to this video to help me go in depth in this amazing Sonic game. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome famous YouTuber, Billabob. Hey, thanks for having me in the video. My name is Billabob, and I make videos about Sonic and not much else. Overall, Blaze's story in Sonic Rush is a very good story supplementary to Sonic's. The cool thing is, is that their stories are actually intertwined, so it's kind of like seeing two different sides of the same coin. Although I guess that's already been done in Sonic 06, Sonic Adventure, Sonic Adventure 2, and kind of Sonic Heroes. Heroes, so not really that special. Sonic and Blaze's dimensions are crashing together, so Blaze sets out to find the Soul Emeralds, which are basically her dimensions versions of the Chaos Emeralds. Along the way, she meets Cream the Rabbit, who tries to help her along her journey. She also keeps running into this mysterious blue hedgehog that we don't know the name of. No, that's stupid. She also keeps running into Sonic, also trying to stop the disaster, but she doesn't want his help at all. Eventually, after some setbacks and a fight with Sonic and the most banging music ever, she decides to team up with him. They work together to go super and take out the big bad robot in space, like every other Sonic game, the end. Overall, the story isn't, like, overly complex, but it's also in-depth enough that it doesn't feel really, really shallow, kind of like Sonic Colors does. The parallels of Sonic and Blaze are shown all over the box art and in the menus, and it's shown perfectly in the game, too. In general, Blaze controls very similar to Sonic, except that she's a little bit slower. But to be honest, this is pretty much barely noticeable unless you do side by side. They feel very, very similar when you're actually playing. The other main difference, which is honestly bigger than the speed, is that her tricks are different than Sonic's. Her up trick goes way higher than Sonic's, which allows you to do a bunch more tricks and get a ton more boost. Instead of being a homing tack like Sonic's, her neutral trick is kind of a hover, which helps in levels like altitude limit. And her forward trick is this kind of dash forwards. It's pretty similar to Sonic's, but I think it goes a little bit further. All of the issues with Sonic's controls are prevalent in Blaze as well though. The jump feels kind of weird, rolling is kind of off, and the controls are just kind of odd. But they work well for what they were made for. You're going at super high speeds most of the time. If this was a precision platforming game, then it would be an issue, but it really isn't. Except for the couple times when the game does try to be a precision platformer, I guess. Again, Blaze's gameplay is very similar to Sonic's. The only real differences come from their controls, which in the grand scheme of things don't matter too much. The level layouts are exactly bes Are they? I think there might be minor differences. Let's say there are. The level layouts are exactly the same between them, and they go through the same stages just in a different order. For example, instead of starting in Leaf Storm, Blaze starts at Night Carnival. I usually slightly prefer Blaze's gameplay due to her up trick being super high so you can get a bunch of tricks off, but honestly, it's pretty situational. There's some bosses and levels you should use Sonic for, and some that are better with Blaze. Not that you can pick. I keep thinking of Rush Adventure, man. You know, the first time you hear the Sonic Rush soundtrack, it's probably gonna be kinda weird. Like, Back to Back is a very interesting song. It kinda sounds like you're getting mind controlled or something as they just slowly get louder and louder at the start. But the thing with the Sonic Rush soundtrack is the more you listen to it, the better it gets. Like, these songs go from sounding incredibly weird to being some of the best Sonic songs we've ever had. Some of my favorites are Right There, Right On, What You Need, and Bomber Barbera for the final boss. Honestly, if you've been a little bit put off by the Sonic Rush soundtrack in the past, I'd uh, recommend forcing yourself to listen to it over and over again until you realize how good it is. So I guess that's about all I've got to say about Sonic Rush. Overall, really solid game. Both of the stories are very similar, but they're different enough to both be very fun. Also, I don't know what VMeg's gonna say about Altitude Limit and if he's gonna say it sucks or something. It doesn't suck. He's just bad. Don't listen to him. Hey, shut up. I'm not bad. I just find Altitude Limit to be my least favorite stage. Anyways... As mentioned briefly by Billabop, the final story can also be known as the extra story. I won't go too much in depth for this one, but basically all you need to know is just in the story, you fight Eggman Nega and you will watch as Sonic becomes supersonic and Blaze becomes Burning Blaze. During the extra zone, you will switch between the two characters and once defeating the final boss, Blaze goes back to her dimension. Lastly, I want to give my own input on the soundtrack. The soundtrack, in my opinion, is probably some of the best Sonic music we've gotten up to date. Although I won't go too much into depth, I will go on ahead and list some of my favorite tracks. Back to Back, A New Day, Scott Cha Cha, Right There Right On, JJ Rocket, 
and lastly, wrapped in black. However, I think that's about all I have to say on this amazing Sonic game. But before we end off the video, I'd appreciate it if you guys would please subscribe, because a whooping 92.8% of you aren't subscribed who watch me, which is kind of crazy. So, all I ask is that if you did enjoy this video, please remember to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. It costs nothing, and you can always unsubscribe if you need to later. I want to give a huge shout out to Billabob for being open to this collab with me. Please, go check him out, as in my opinion, he makes some of the best Sonic content you will see from most Sonic tubers. Lastly, if you are over the age of 13, please feel free to join my Discord. The link to it will be in the description down below. Yo, it's me, Ender. Uh, VMeg sort of completely forgot to credit me in this video for editing the whole thing. Thanks, VMeg. Very cool. If you want to pay some respects, you can go to Ender Electrics and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I do some animated stuff. It's pretty cool. Okay, yeah, that's enough promoting for me. Back to the outro. And finally, once more, thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for watching this video, and have an amazing rest of your day. If this is the first time on <laughs> video from this suit. <laughs> okay, what the heck was that? Is that kind of what ours, what ours would be done? Probably some of the best Sonic music we've gotten up to date. That was horrible. Which is really helpful in levels like Sky Babylon. That is in, that is in Sonic Rush Adventure. That is not in this game.